to fast food and beyond. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Are you one of those people who only shops on Amazon? Well, we can help with that. Check out our Amazon store for shirts, apparel, movies, and more. It's all at amazon.com slash mythical. These days, there are more vegetarian burger options than you can shake a stick at, which is interesting since most of them taste just like an actual stick. But one company has created a truly tasty plant-based burger that is slowly taking over an industry near and dear to our hearts, fast food. And the burger I'm talking about is the Beyond Burger. Yes, and for months now, select Del Tacos have been offering Beyond Meat Tacos. Uh, and mm -hmm. even more recently, Carl's Jr. unveiled the Beyond Famous Star Burger. It looks better in the commercial. <laughs> uh, at over a thousand Carl's Jr. locations across the US. And we're gonna be trying both of these and Good Mythical more. But at this very moment, we're faced with the obvious question. What are the next fast food items that should get Beyondified, and which one shouldn't? It's time for Stuff We Try That You Can't Buy Beyond Fast Food Edition. Mythical Chef Josh has picked up some fast food items and then surgically removed the beef mm. by putting it in his mouth and eating it, and then replaced it with Beyond Beef, which he cooked and prepared accordingly. And we're gonna taste each Beyond dish and then decide, use that fake meat or no thanks, Pete. Who's Pete? Don't know. Okay. okay. Now tampering with the Big Mac in any way may be considered by some to be sacrilegious but maybe it's time for us to convert. Mm-hmm, here we have. I've got the original, the which Big we'll Mac. save for a second. Yeah, I don't, I don't wanna taste that first. We're gonna taste the Beyond one first, because we don't wanna have that, you know, you want the idea of the Big Mac to be in your mind, right. not the actual taste of the Big Mac. Right, because that, that's really not how you would do it. You'd order this and you'd think you loved it. So sink. let's see if we think we love it. Yeah, sink. sink it. With everything else the same, that's, I would think I was eating a Big Mac. It's set up for success. The Beyond Meat doesn't have quite the pop, not the pop, but like, you move through it a lot more easily than you do real beef. Open that up. Now, if we were to compare the two, in terms of calories, um, given our calculations, it's 270 calories versus 368. And in terms of fat, we've got 20 grams versus 33.6 grams. And there's actually more protein in the Beyond Burger patty, 20 versus 16, so, okay. So let's just, let's just see if we, we're, we don't pick up on the meat and we just thought we did. It's better. It's definitely better. But, hold on. But it's not, I was enjoying myself. Yeah, definitely. Thoroughly, until I started eating that. And then I was enjoying myself thoroughly, thoroughly. I don't know. Especially because of the taste of the Big Mac, the yeah. essence of the Big Mac is retained. Yeah. Because it's in really in the sauce and the lettuce and the cheese and the bun. I taste a little bit of that Beyond Meat, which is, it. there is a distinct taste, you finally get to it. But I'm not complaining about that. I definitely think it's worth it. Yeah, so I think this one really holds up. So we're saying, Big Mac, use, use that, that fake meat. meat. In addition to Frosties and French fries that are best enjoyed when dipped in Frosties, Wendy's also has some low-key delicious beef chili. But should they offer Beyond Chili? Hmm. It looks like the chili that I've enjoyed before from uh, Wendy's. Yep, good work, Josh. Mm, how many beans do I wanna get? I've got four. Um, do you get the chili a lot because you're a bean-loving man? No, because it makes me feel fancy when I get chili at a fast food restaurant. And put it on a baked potato, have you done that? Oh, so you don't do it for the beans, but you do do it. I do do it, and the beans are great. This the beans make it even better. This tastes good, again, having it, not the had texture, this. The texture's a little bit different, but I don't think I would, I would know that. I would just think, maybe I'm in a different region of the country where the beef has a different texture. Did you know that when Dave Thomas opened Wendy's in 1969, chili was one, one of the, the original menu, menu items? items? Yeah, I knew Don't that. read my notes and try to take credit for it. <laughs> also, yes. did you know that there was a 2016 fake news article that said that a Wendy's employee had pooped in the chili? But. That Snow story wasn't true Snopes because of Snopes. Snopes. Wrong, right. Yes. I um, love having information. You said that you think that the consistency is different, but I actually disagree. Oh, you disagree? Mm hmm. It's actually, well, mm -hmm. it's heartier. And I thought you meant that it was mushier. I don't know about that, man. Um, I feel like the original is surprisingly 
significantly better. They're both really good though. That's not the original, you're pointing at that. I just wanna make sure. The original in the oh, Wendy's this? thing. Yes, this? I'm not confused, don't confuse me. Okay. Can there's I be so, confused? There's something about the way that beef stews and kind of releases its fat in a soupy way that is not replicated in a chili. Like a stock kind of feel. I'm not getting it with this at all. And the more I eat them side by side, the more I realize that. I'm tasting beyond meat floating in the chili. I don't think that it works, man. Okay, so there you have it. Wendy's chili. No, no thanks, thanks, Pete. In 2014, Taco Bell introduced the Beefy Fritos Burrito, a beef burrito stuffed with rice, nacho cheese, and wait for it. Now stop waiting. Fritos. And guess how much it costs? Wait for it. Now stop waiting again. One dollar. One dollar. People absolutely love this burrito, but could the Beefy Fritos burrito be just as popular without the titular beef? <laughs> without the love what? Titular beef. <laughs> the what? Titular beef. <laughs> uh, there is no what? Titular beef. In this. This is beyond what? Titular beef. Oh, no, that's not what they call it. <laughs> oh. Beyond beef. I don't wanna do false advertising here. Now this right here, I'm, I'm not gonna eat this first, I'm just gonna, oh my goodness. We got, well, now, we, we got Josh, a lot more beef. You, Josh, you stacking the deck a little bit. You know, gotta <laughs> do what I gotta do. It's like, you, are you being paid under the table by Beyond Beef? Not, yes. <laughs> not, not yet. Yes. Okay, so let's let's try the uh, the Beyond version. Definitely a lot more beef, but yeah. you can afford it when it's, when it's fake. Hey, you should work at Taco Bell. Can you get me an interview? <laughs> No. Hmm, a lot of beef in here. <laughs> Where's the Frito? I think it's being overpowered by all the Beyond Beef that Josh decided to put in there. The Fritos melt after about three minutes. The Fritos get kind of soft and just become part of the overarching experience, but I do taste the essence of Frito. Okay, all right. Again, not bad, but I don't, I don't know. I'm I, not leaping for joy. I feel like the Beyond flavoring is doing the wrong thing to the Taco Bell mix. Because everything at Taco Bell is supposed to taste exactly like Taco Bell, no matter what item you get. I bit a part that just had a little bit of beef, and it just sings. Mm. It's not even that much beef. Mm -mm. And it's like, it's like a, it's like a soloist in a choral ensemble mm. of ingredients mm. that they sing a bunch of different songs, but it's really all the same song. Mm. You see what I'm saying? And then they drop out, and it's just the guy in the back hitting the big drum, and then a woman in the front singing very high. Yeah, and the lettuce is soggy. <laughs> I don't know, there's just something about the Beyond Beef that is kind of throwing off the overall Taco Bell essence. Plus the beef at Taco Bell is titular. Oh, yes it is. So I think we're saying beefy Frito burrito. No, no thanks, mm -hmm. Pete. When it comes to famous papas, you've got Papa Smurf, Papa Roach, oh. and Papa Razzi. Uh, but Papa John's is trying to claw its way back on the list. And if they replace the cheeseburger on their double cheeseburger pizza with Beyond Burger, could that help repair it's public image. Okay, so Josh basically took a cheeseburger pizza from Papa John's, ordered it without beef, and then added his own Beyond Beef. And uh, what did you say the price difference was here? Okay, so the double cheeseburger pizza was $17, but when I removed the beef, it was only $7. It might have been a glitch in the website, or Papa might be a terrible business person. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe it's a glitch, we don't know. <laughs> That's a hack, though, just add it yourself. I've never had the nads to order this pizza. I've never... I've got like lots of nads, but it just I don't feels, use them to order pizza. It just feels like you're already ordering pizza. Why you gotta make it a cheeseburger pizza? I'm losing some of the Beyond Beef. I wanna get it on there. What's this sauce? Uh, they call it burger sauce? Big Mac sauce, basically. Pretty much, yeah. Mmm. Dang. That's good. That's a good pizza, Pete. Um. And then if you go with the original Papa. Make sure you get some beef. I don't know. I think there's a similar thing happening here that happened with the Big Mac. Yeah, well Jeez. I mean. does so much for this, something. This pizza is imitating a Big Mac in many ways. I think I might like this better. It definitely has more meat than Papa chooses to put on. So. 
we'd have to tell Papa to up his game in his distribution. I mean, I definitely think that they should move in this direction because I think it might actually be better. Hmm. Okay, so it's a double cheeseburger pizza. Use, Use that, that fake, fake meat. meat. For our final round, we thought, why limit these Beyond Meat opportunities to just fast food? Why don't we find out if fancy restaurants should start offering Beyond Meat options as well? Mm -hmm. So we turn to the fanciest restaurant we know. It's time for Stuff We Try That You Can't Buy Beyond Olive Garden Edition. Okay, so Olive Garden restaurants don't actually have checkered tablecloths or romantic candlelight. This is just a representation of how fancy we feel when we eat there. And we're gonna find out if their classic spaghetti and meatballs would work as spaghetti and beyond balls. <laughs> Good name. Let's try it. So you've got the beyond balls. It's a, a big one too. A little bigger than that. See, Josh is really wanting this to work. You're a beyond fan. I think you're being paid under the tape. Mm. I don't know, man. When you put that much beyond meat together in a ball form, it kind of begins to get exposed. You know what I'm saying? It needs salt. Well, you talk to, talk to your man over there about that. Let's try this. <laughs> There's just something about the ball form. Oh. What is wrong, I mean. Well, you didn't want me to throw it, I didn't want to throw it over my shoulder, that's. But why is it in your hand to, to begin with? I, I didn't don't... want it to hit this and taint it. But why is this it? This is a test, man. But why is it in your hand? How did it get? I mean, there's no science. spaghetti in my palm. I'm just using the fork. Well, I didn't want to eat it because that's not the point. Then don't pick it up. You know what? I accept your apology. So I'm really enjoying myself over here. Yeah, but not over here. No. Again, you're exactly right. I mean, it's just, it's too much meat that's beyond concentrated into one place. I, I hoped it would work. It looks great, but. It's just not happening, man. I wanted them to be able to go beyond balls, but I think balls is the limit. Spaghetti and meatballs. No, no thanks, man. Pete. So with much plant-based humility, McDonald's and Papa John's, please consider adding Beyond Meat creations to your menus. The rest of you, you just keep doing you. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Jennifer. I'm Mark from Sedgefield, Sedgefield South, South Africa, Africa. And, and we're, we're freaking, freaking out, out right now. now. Thanks for making our day, guys. Cool. And it's time to, to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. mythicality. So Jennifer and Mark are not that Jennifer and Mark, and that's why they're freaking, freaking out, out in right South now. Africa. Yes. Click the top link to watch us try Beyond Meat Nick Rib in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel lands. Our Amazon teas now go overseas. Mythical Amazon teas are available in the US, UK, and Germany. Go to amazon.com slash mythical.